On October 3, 2025, at approximately 4 o'clock Coordinated Universal Time, the comet approached the red planet closely, around 29 million kilometers distant. For astronomers, this event transcended mere observation. It offered a rare opportunity to examine a visitor from interstellar realms under unprecedented circumstances. Orbiting Mars were several awaiting spacecraft. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter employed its high-rise camera, striving to capture the object with exceptional accuracy. It pushed its instruments to the limits to reveal the faint nucleus obscured by dust and gas. Meanwhile, ESA's Mars Express and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter aimed their spectrometers at the comet, seeking to uncover the chemical composition of its expanding coma. On the Martian surface, NASA's Perseverance rover also contributed. While its cameras struggled with swift objects, image stacking later showcased a faint blur precisely where the comet should have appeared. For the first time ever, we glimpsed an interstellar object from the perspective of another planet. Spectroscopic findings from Earth and space telescopes indicated that 3I Atlas was anything but ordinary. Its coma featured an unusually high concentration of carbon dioxide, along with water, carbon monoxide, and dust. The carbon dioxide to water ratio differed significantly from local comets, hinting that this object formed under far colder or more irradiated conditions than those within our solar confines. Infrared measurements disclosed a different narrative. As the object neared the sun, its temperature did not rise smoothly. Instead, it underwent fluctuations, abrupt heating followed by rapid cooling. This pattern implied that sunlight was revealing pockets of pristine ice beneath darker materials, leading to explosive jets that altered the surface in real time. An unexpected revelation emerged through high-resolution imaging, unveiling a double tail. One trail consisted of dust reflecting sunlight, while the other shone faintly blue with ionized gas. This division illustrated that distinct materials were expelled under varying physical forces, one responding to radiation pressure, the other influenced by solar wind. Spectra from the James Webb Space Telescope identified substantial carbon monoxide emissions, with minimal methanol or ammonia present, in atypical combination. This suggested that 3I Atlas may have originated in a region deficient in nitrogen but abundant in carbon dioxide possibly on the fringes of a star-forming cluster. Additional data indicated the presence of silicate minerals similar to those in local comets, yet with a reversed ratio of crystalline to amorphous types. The preponderance of crystalline forms implied its initial proximity to a star before being ejected into the vastness of space. As sunlight intensified, the comet's coma expanded to hundreds of thousands of kilometers, interacting with the solar wind. Scientists observed faint magnetic waves rippling through its ionized gases, a miniature plasma ecosystem shaped by universal forces. In this environment, fine dust filaments twisted and coiled in response to solar magnetic fields, creating a dynamic structure resembling a living halo of matter and energy. Polarimetric data indicated that the comet's dust grains were unusually sizable, many exceeding a millimeter in width. Such large particles typically struggled to survive multiple solar passes. Thus, it seems that 3I Atlas has never before ventured into a system like ours. These grains may have endured interstellar travel for eons, with some potentially entering our solar system's own dust stream bringing along the elemental building blocks of worlds unknown. Infrared spectroscopy also identified organic compounds. Features indicating carbonyl and nitrile were signs of complex prebiotic chemistry. While not conclusive evidence of life, they suggested that the foundations of biology can form and persist between stars, independent of planetary bodies. Every molecule detected in 3I Atlas relayed a message from the greater galaxy, confirming that chemistry knows no boundaries. Modeling its rotation suggested a period of approximately 9 hours, showing signs of chaotic tumbling. 
As the nucleus rotated, sunlight illuminated new areas, triggering bursts of activity that altered its appearance throughout the day. Its dust jets spun like clockwork spirals, outlining the geometry of its spin. For planetary scientists, it was a natural experiment, demonstrating the interplay of light, ice, and gravity on a world untouched by our sun's warmth until now. The origins of 3I Atlas remain shrouded in mystery. It may have been expelled from a binary star system or a dense cluster where gravitational interactions accelerate comets to escape velocity. It could even be a fragment of a shattered planetesimal, heated near its original star before being propelled into interstellar space. Regardless of its beginnings, its current path offers a unique chance to explore material transfer between stars, bridging one system to another. As it continued its journey toward the Sun, 3I Atlas grew brighter and more intricate, though its fate was already determined. Its hyperbolic orbit, open-ended, ensures it will never return. After a brief encounter with our solar system, it will vanish back into the darkness, carrying the secrets of its origin across the cosmic expanse. For the observing scientists, this event represented more than just an astronomical milestone. It was a reminder of the profound connections within our galaxy. Matter, dust, and ice traverse the void between stars, seeding new worlds and innovative potential. 3I Atlas serves as a traveler, a messenger, and a conduit between stars. For a moment, Mars, Earth, and humanity looked skyward in unison, witnessing this silent visitor from another realm, sharing whispers of the countless systems beyond our own. Subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.